Welcome back, everybody, to the Comics and Crypto Podcast. Today, we're going to be discussing the Ron English Serial Killer Season 2, dropping this Saturday, September 18th at 8 a.m. PST. We're getting five new characters. First, we have Two Ton Sam. He's going to cost $40 and has 4,444 editions. He's a first appearance and a common. Frank and Fat, he'll cost 50 gems at 3,333 editions, and he's also a first appearance uncommon. Sugar Diabetic Bear, he's going to cost 60 gems at 2,222 editions, and he's a first appearance. And then our final Ultra Rare, which is Yucky Charmer, for $90 at 1,888 editions, and he's also a first appearance. Spencer, can you tell us a little bit about Ron English? Do you have a little bit of background on who he is as an artist? Ron English is known as a prolific urban and pop artist and is often referred to as the godfather of street art. English spent much of his career poking fun at the world's top brands through characters like The Serial Killers, Marlboro Boy, and MC Supersized. His comical portrayal of these brands landed English numerous cease and desist letters, but luckily parody laws protected him. Some of his other notable works include Growing Grins and the album art for the debut solo album for Slash, the guitarist of Guns N' Roses. English is the creator of Popaganda, a term he created to describe his signature fusion of lowbrow subject matter and fine art techniques. He is incredibly popular with over 250,000 followers on Instagram, and he had a cameo in Oscar-nominated film Exit Through the Gift Shop, which was directed by Banksy. Well, I know who I'm taking to run English trivia night. Just knew all that on the top of your head? <laughs> I just... I. I just, I downloaded it. I downloaded it from the internet into my brain. And then, and then I said it. I don't see a lot of the prices for the second series surpassing the originals. I think they're going to be very close, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, but those are the expectations you should probably set for yourself when purchasing these. If we reference the original series that are currently on the market, these are the current prices of the first series today. If we look at Fat Tony, the bottom floor price, 58 gems. So you can anticipate around 50 to 60 gems, most likely for the common. For an uncommon, we're looking at 77 gems for a bottom floor price, and he costs 50 to purchase. We'll see probably around 70 to 80 gems for the uncommon. The Honey Butt Obese, the bottom floor price is around 200 gems. So we can probably see around 195, maybe 205 for the rare. And then Count Calorie, the ultra rare, he's currently at 350. So we can probably see around 300 to 400 gems for the ultra rare. Just to note, very important, a lot of these prices have gone up significantly over the past few days. A couple of days ago, I remember seeing, because I was eyeing an ultra rare, and I was seeing if there's going to be a dip, but the prices have gone up. And I think a big reason why they're all going up is because of the news from Dan, a lot of the indie artists are going to be released first off of Vivi after they transfer over to Immutable. And that's a really big deal. So we're talking Ron English and Frank Kozik and Jermaine Rogers, but they're not technically the first ever of the series. So that's also something to consider as well. Yeah, there's a good chance that the prices will be less for Series 2 than Series 1, simply because it isn't the first series that came out. Yeah, definitely. So I think it's important that everybody just you just have your expectations set. You're not going to be able to, especially on the ultra rare, you're not going to be able to 10x this one, unless you have incredibly low mints. If you have incredibly low mints on any of them, definitely have a great opportunity for a massive ROI. But outside of that, bottom floor price with high grades, you're looking at the, probably the bottom floor prices for these for the original series, if not a little bit less. That's that's our prediction. But either way, I think this is a great opportunity having these collections as a fan or if you want to sell them on the open market, because when that option is available, these will be the first to go. And these will be the first to be purchased on places like OpenSea. So you could see massive opportunity there. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also our podcast. We are currently on Apple, Spotify, and Amazon. Also, a special thanks to Nine Finger for their incredible intro music. You can find them on Instagram at ninefinger999. Make sure to stop by and give them some love. Thank you again, everyone, for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.